Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm going to be talking to you today about one mighty secret that can make you massively stand out in his heart and in his life. Listen, it's not a big surprise that many guys don't commit because they fear that they're going to lose their freedom, right? Well, one of the reasons why guys fear losing freedom, aside from maybe having variety in life, is because they are unsure that they can actually be happy and feel like a man when they sustain a relationship with someone. And part of the reason for that is because they feel, I mean, we guys learn, the way we learn is through challenge. We learn through somebody telling us, you know what, you suck, I'm going to get better at this, right? But for the majority of guys, I mean, the majority of guys haven't really received a lot of praise for the things they do. And when they connect with someone who criticizes them, which is normal, I mean, for, for this culture, society, to say, hey, you don't like something, just say it. There's nothing wrong with saying something, but most human beings have learned to talk about things they don't like in a, criti in a critical way. So when a guy feels criticism from his woman, or from a woman that he wants to commit to, he starts feeling internally like he's not going to be able to make her happy. So if you really want to stand out in his heart, if you really want to become the kind of woman that he feels more irresistible towards, figure out a way to little things, I'm not talking about anything major, little things here and there, let him know when he, you catch him doing things right and let him know. And here's why this is so important. I know that you've heard this before, but this is why it's so important. You probably haven't heard why it's so important. The reason why it's so important to actually take some time and say, you know what, honey, that day, yesterday, when you stood up for me and my friend or your friend was criticizing me and you basically told him to stop, to fuck off, I felt so safe. Most people don't say that. They feel good, but they don't say it. Or when you say to him, you know what, thank you so much for loving me. Or thank you so much for being, for that day, I mean, for bringing me, I don't know, coffee. Thank you so much for being the kind of guy who always sticks around until we come up with an answer. I can't tell you how much that means to me. And it means this much to me because it makes me feel safe. It makes me feel appreciated. It makes me feel so understood. When you are able to phrase things this way, you start planting this tiny little ninja explosive seeds in his mind. And this is why they're little explosive seeds in his mind, because all of a sudden he goes from a guy who feels that he can't make you happy to someone who knows he can make you happy. When a guy realizes inside his heart, this woman I'm with appreciates what I do and he thinks I can make her happy, the fear of commitment starts lowering. I'm not saying disappears, but it's one of those factors that allows a guy to lower that fear of commitment. Also, it does something even more powerful. It puts him in an identity of someone who's a giver, puts him in an identity of a guy who's a super guy. Now, when a guy starts thinking, she already views me as this identity of somebody who's doing great things, he wants to live up to that expectation. That's why it's so important. Because when he wants to live up to that expectation, that's that inner drive that guys have to want to be a better man for you. Guys want to be a better man for a woman they feel compelled to give their hearts to, but not for every woman. So if you catch him doing things right, and you become really appreciative and really grateful of the way he's doing certain things, and letting him know very vulnerably how it makes you feel and why it makes you feel that way, this can take you a tremendously long way into messing up <laughs> in a good way with his mind, where he can say, you know what, she's the one. I hope this is helpful to you. If you think this is interesting, if you have any comments or questions, please write them down here on the blog or write them down if you're watching this on YouTube. On YouTube. By the way, if you're watching me on YouTube, please click like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and also come over to the blog or subscribe to one of my uh, video programs. There's a link below where you can subscribe and get the three video series on how to get the man you want in nine days or less. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. I challenge you as always to live a full and conscious life.